Are you ready for two tips on how and why to make your kitchen cleaning a lot easier? Do you have ADHD? Look, you don't have to have ADHD to watch this video, but you might relate better to it if you do. I'm Lily with the Lily Channel. Thanks for joining in. And just think that it's Financial Literacy Month as well as Earth Month or Earth Day, the month when Earth Day is happening or even Earth Week. I wanted to add to my channel any concepts related to those two themes this month. So I'm going to be talking about two ideas I have as to how to go about kitchen cleaning. I can't stand coming into a kitchen that looks like this. You notice all the crap that's around. I figure if I'm vulnerable about it and showing what life is really like around here a lot of the time, then who knows, maybe I'll be entered in the messiest kitchen contest and win something for it. No, but seriously though, I just, I get to a point where in my mind I'm immaculate, but not in reality. And it, I love eating healthy food and so does my husband, Norm. But when you enter a kitchen that looks like hell, chances are you don't want to be cooking in it. And I had a revelation this morning when we were having breakfast together. Norm is even bothered by the messy kitchen. He is so non-complaining about it and he's always cooking around it that I didn't think it bothered him. It's kind of humbling. I, I know that I don't like it. I just, uh, I don't know. I, I tend to do a lot of cleaning in here. It's just instantly gets dirty. Anyway, the tip. Let's talk about broccoli. Where did my broccoli go? Oh my gosh. I had my broccoli two seconds ago. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Okay. Classic ADD moment where I don't know where my main subject went. Oh, here it is. Okay. <laughs> the broccoli. I love to prepare roasted broccoli or other veggies. Well, my first, my first response to that would be to grab the first thing I think of for baking in it, which is a long baking dish like you use for making chocolate chip cookies or something. Well, Norm pointed out that I tend to use big tools or trays and then don't wash them up right afterwards. Guilty, guilty. And then I said, well, what do you think I should use something else or he said, well, first of all, don't bake as much because the second day doesn't taste as good. I mean, yeah, we feed it to the worms for the vermicomposting bin, but still, even they wouldn't like mushy broccoli. They told me so. So uh, he said, yeah, just make less of it and more often. And yeah, I know you're thinking, wow, that's a revelation. But seriously, though, he pointed out that the air fryer is a good way to roast veggies. I had never thought of it. Then again, I've never used it. So it turns out that it has a veggie feature on it. The tray is dishwasher friendly. Woohoo! Yay! And it, it so it beeps halfway through. So you just take the tray out. I guess uh, let me see if you can see. There you go. So you take the tray out. There's the broccoli for now. You just shake it. It's dirty. Sorry. That'll stay between you and I, right? You and me. <laughs> English teachers watching. Yeah, don't correct me, please. I know I said it wrong. So the point is instead of just knee-jerk reaction to what seems to be the obvious way to roast veggies, think of the quantity, especially, I mean, there's two of us, and then think of the smallest thing you can use so that it doesn't disrupt the whole kitchen life because it is huge and it's clunky and it's blocking everything. So that will not only save you money with not tossing out extra food of the food, it'll save you time with washing. The other thing, Part of the tip is why you're cleaning the kitchen. And you might think, well, because it's dirty. Well, the fact is, though, that I think it makes a big difference. It's, let me just give you some perspective. If you are feeling like you're doing a good deed for somebody, in my case, uh, cleaning the kitchen for Norm, you feel better about it, like you're getting brownie points or something. Now, let me show you a book called The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. It talks about how people like to feel appreciated. The five love languages. It's got it's a purple book with this couple in the sunset. Yeah. And five love languages. Now I flipped through it, and one of the five is acts of service. Well, Norm is an acts of service guy, which means that in in order for him to feel <clears throat> sorry, in order for him to feel appreciated, he likes having me do acts of service. Now, five love languages can apply to anybody for any kind of relationship, but I, I remember that's one of his. 
which means I get brownie points if I clean up the kitchen. It somehow is more exciting and motivating if I'm doing it for someone else instead of just for me. So just consider that. Who are you doing the kitchen for? And what's the easiest way, most efficient way to cook whatever you're going to cook so that the cleanup is much easier? Hope you enjoyed the tip and stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, it's going to be Saturday, I believe, for Earth Day. I'm so excited. And comment below if you have any earth saving tips or money saving tips or money making tips. All right. Thank you. And I appreciate any new subscribers. You're fantastic. Bye-bye.